third problem. Find the domain and range and range of the following functions of the following functions in this first problem f of x is equal to tan of pi of bracket x by 1 plus sin of pi bracket x plus bracket x square. Okay. Let us find out domain and as well as the range of this function. So, domain means let us think here this is bracket x. The bracket x means if x is any real value the bracket x is valid value you will be getting. So, it takes this function takes all the real values that is why this domain is we can write r domain of this function is nothing but set of real numbers. Set of real numbers means minus infinity to infinity. Whereas, domain domain means actually here, here to find out its range of this function let us see tan of integral part of x bracket x means integral part of x say some integer n suppose tan n pi is there tan n pi means for example what is tan pi suppose you take n is equal to 0 tan 0 what is tan 0 0 so if you take n is equal to 1 what is tan pi 0 tan 2 pi 0 tan 3 pi 0 so, that means even tan n pi is also 0. That means for every here n belongs to integer z, here whether it may be positive or negative. So, tan n pi is 0 means it is always you will be getting f of x value is 0. That is why range equal to 0. Now, next second problem second problem f of x is equal to x by 2 minus 3 x. First let us find out domain of this function. So, this function is in the form of f of x by g of x these two are rational function this is nothing but a rational function. So, first See, if you put x is equal to something 2 by 3, 3 3 gets cancelled 2 minus 2 0. That means, at x is equal to here 2 by 3 this function is not defined. So, that is why can this x is equal to 2 by 3 accept this function? No. So, that is why that x is equal to 2 by 3 is not the part actually part of the its domain. So, the value must be deleted from the it is actually from real number system. So, that is why here see first of all to define the domain of this function this 2 minus 3 x does not equal to 0. So, here 3 x does not equal to 2 x does not equal to 2 by 3 that means here x is equal to 2 by 3 is not valid 1. So, this value should be actually deleted from the real number system to get the domain. So, that means domain is equal to r minus the element 2 by 3 set 2 by 3. Let us find out range of this function. To find out range of this function suppose f of x is equal to y. 
So let f of x is equal to y. Now x by 2 minus 3x equal to y cross multiply. So 2y minus 3xy equal to x. Now 2y equal to x plus 3xy. Take can we take x common? Yes, we can take x common. So if you take x common, what do we get? Here x times 1 plus 3y. Am I correct? Yes, x into 1 plus 3y. Now from this, can we find out the x value? Why not? We can find out x value in terms of y. So x equals to 2y by 1 plus 3y. So now in order to define this one 2y by 1 plus 3y, here in the same case 1 plus 3y is only satisfies when 1 plus 3y does not equal to 0. That means 2y by 1 plus 3y uh, defines only when 1 plus 3y does not equal to 1. So uh, now 1 plus 3y does not equal to 0. So now 3y does not equal to minus 1. So y does not equal to minus 1 by 3. Therefore, you can write range equal to this element has to be deleted from the real number system. So that is r minus minus 1 by 3. Now domain of this function is r minus 2 by 3 whereas range is equal to r minus minus 1 comma 3. third problem. f of x is equal to mod x plus mod of 1 plus x. Now the domain and range of this modulus functions we have to find out. The mod x modulus of 1 plus x. Here mod x, the domain of mod x means it is a set of real numbers. So the same set of real numbers will satisfy the mod of x plus 1. So that is why from in, in general actually how do we find out the domain of mod x plus mod of 1 plus x. So that means Domain means domain of this function intersection domain of this function that is quite obvious we get real number system itself only. All the set of real numbers it takes function takes input input values that is why here domain is R Now let us find out its range. If you put for example minus 1 here, suppose if you put minus 1, what do you get here mod minus 1 plus mod 0, you get 1. If you put x is equal to 0, you will be getting 1 mod 0 plus mod 1 equal to 1. If you take any value, always if you put any x value always that will be greater than only you can observe it that is why now range equal to either equal to 1 or greater than 1 that equal to 1 to infinity.